Hi, I'm Jim Bradley. I'm here with Kevin Chen. We're very honored to be able to do our video presentation as the editor's pick for ASJ. So thank you, Dr. Nahai. Our study is facial feminization surgery changes perception of patient gender. Facial feminization surgery involves modifying facial features, including the forehead, orbits, nose, chin, mandible, and the tracheal cartilage in order to create a softer, more feminine appearance. This is actually the final of three studies on a similar topic, and we're gonna have Kevin tell us about the first one briefly. Kevin? Sure. Virtual surgical planning for facial feminization allowed us to obtain results that are safer, more efficient, and more accurate, which led us to our second study. Dr. Bradley, can you tell us about that? We use neural networking, which is computer face recognition software to determine gender. In this study, we had controls, cis male and cis female. Importantly, the pre-op FFS patients were misgendered almost half the time. Post-op FFS were gendered correctly, similar to cis female controls. But this was artificial intelligence. More importantly, what happens with public perception? To look at this, we use crowdsourcing as our platform. So crowdsourcing allowed us to obtain a wide, diverse public opinion on gender identity. This allowed us to objectively determine one of the primary goals of FFS surgery. Does FFS allow for less misgendering by the public? Additionally, we showed that trans women were misgendered almost 50% of the time, while post-op trans women were identified correctly almost 95% of the time. Additionally, the confidence in this gender identification was much higher postoperatively. So femininity can be judged by a manner of external appearance factors, including the way a person talks, the way they walk, the way they gesture, even the tone of their voice. But we found that FFS is a necessary step for these trans women to achieve their female social identity.